why do you think they would rather sell their house to you or to us versus listing it with a realtor to perhaps get more money or maybe they don't know they can get more money? Great question. Um, especially it's a good valid question in today's market where the retail market is so hot, right, Jay? There's no doubt that the retail market is phenomenal. Yep. Um, the reason why they would sell to us over that other way is that the average child lives over 400 miles away. So wow. when you find, yeah, then there's usually one daughter left that's there. We call her daughter, Judy. Jay, we used to call her daughter, Karen, but the word Karen has had a bad year and a half in the, in the public's eye. So we don't call her daughter, Karen anymore. Uh, we call her daughter, Judy. She's going through a rough time. She's, she's, you, you, you're, I'm sure you love horses. You know, the term being drawn and quartered. Have you ever heard that term back in ancient times when they would torture somebody? Yes. That's daughter Judy. She's being pulled in four directions. She just moved mom into senior living. So mom's a little cantankerous because she got taken out of her forever home. You know, she's adjusting. The second thing is she's getting pulled by the senior living community on how she's going to pay this eight grand a month bill. Where's that money going to come from? Then she's getting questioned. Every decision daughter Judy makes is being questioned by her brothers and sisters who don't live in town. They live over 400 miles away. That daughter Judy's making a mistake. She mom's not doing what she the way she is. One one of the kids has their head in the sand about what's going on, and one of them always thinks that the house is worth a million dollars too. So all this burden falls on daughter Judy. Then the fourth thing is daughter Judy's still married. You know she when I say daughter, she's in her fifties and sixties dealing with her seventies and eighty year old parents, and so she has a life. She has a needy husband. She has kids. She ha she has her own life. She doesn't have full time schedule just to go run and help with this whole situation. And so you ask why they would sell to me over someone else. They've gotten at least three pieces of bad info or three negatives happen. So they just found out mom has to move into senior living. The doctor told them that's one. The second thing is they just find out how much it costs to move mom into that really shiny place. That's two. The third one is usually the realtor. The realtor walks in. Everybody knows a realtor. The realtor walks in and says, clean this place out. Then do this list of updates before we get it ready for the market. Well, with the average kids living 400 miles away, yes, the market's good right now. But I'll show you a million pictures on my phone of what these houses look like. They are not ready for the market until they are cleaned out and some updating paint carpet. You know, really, it's like 20 things they need to do. So here's my argument right now. Yes, the retail market is good, but have you tried to find a good contractor lately? <laughs> do, do you think your one your one off rehab for for some grandma in another town? You think you you know even if you know a painter, cool. That's one step of twenty three more you have to do. Like the the burden and, and and what's the reason for rehabbing it? Right, it's to try to net a few extra dollars out of that house for mom's care. When really, usually mom paid twenty eight grand for it in nineteen seventy three, and now it's worth two hundred and eighty. You see what I'm saying? She's got the equity. There's no way that that family, uh, I always catch it. It's funny. I always say a family always says, well, we might rehab it ourselves. And I always laugh because these families, even families that get along, don't get along during this process. They argue over who's going to get mom's crock pot or who, who's going to get mom's skillet and who's going to get mom's salt and pepper shakers. Do you think that they're going to be able to do a rehab and pick out kitchen colors when they can't even you see what I'm saying? They just don't want to, Jay. They don't want to rehab the house. They don't want to get it ready. They want somebody that's going to come in and treat them fairly. And because the market's moving so fast and going up, I think the offers that they're getting right now, they're definitely not low ball. You know, they're really based on uh, us as investors. You know, I, if I can do a $60,000 rehab for 40 because I do this at scale, well, there's my 20 grand profit, right? Where that poor family might very well spend 60000 on the rehab plus six months of their lives to net the same amount. Well, who in the world would go through that trouble to net the same amount? It doesn't make any sense.